what kind of iteration or evolution of clutch you have in mind going forward? Of course, once it becomes the CNCF sandbox, then the whole community will be involved. But what vision do you have for clutch? I think clutch is the foundation for building many more services and add-ons on top. So for example, depending on where and how your automation backend, what that actually is, you also have to ensure that service instances can be reached from within a Kubernetes cluster. So that requires a network path to be present. So whenever you, as an application developer, utter the, the intent that you want to have a database instance, for example, you know, both the local clutch extension in the application cluster, but also the clutch server knows about it. So that, that basically creates the event that you need, all right, now you need to establish a network connection. So you could also see that clutch becomes the foundation building an eventing network or an eventing framework that allows for triggering certain behavior and adding add-ons to actually fulfill that behavior, desired behavior, make it much simpler to integrate and make you know, Kubernetes-based landscape possible. And so a lot of the ecosystem was evolving around individual Kubernetes clusters, but Clutch is one step where you're looking into landscapes of Kubernetes clusters that form relationships with another and with the underlying infrastructure, as well as with services that are put on top of it. So if you think, for example, about billing and internal cost allocation, the Clutch server will always know when services have existed and when they cease to exist. That's also the, what you need to know uh, in order to, let's say, for example, you know, create an invoice or you know, assign it, you know, charges in internally in internal cost allocation. Or for that matter, once you've created the service instance and the user expressed the intent to bind a particular Kubernetes application to a service instance, there's also a security question. How do you do dynamic firewalling so that only this cluster or this application can talk to that service instance? So we have solved a similar problem with the N9 data service in the Kubernetes world, where we have a component called the N9 service guard that monitors both dynamic sites. So for example, in on-demand provisioning VMs, IP addresses of service instance will change constantly, for example, doing an upgrade or a scale out. And so do applications and containers change a lot. And you know, the Clutch builds the foundation to create security um, events and do, uh, do implement monitoring tools that will take care of dynamic security in, in, in this regard, as an example. 